Who should I show my poem to first, Kev? Sayori Natsuki Yuri and Monica. 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 The one Jason said was super hot. <clears throat> the one Jason said? It was super hot. That's the one that the dude likes, Ichigo. Well, I'm I need to go. I should start with Monica. Yesterday she seemed eager to read my poem and I wanted her to know I'm putting it up. <laughs> Hi, Ichigo. Having a good time so far? Yeah, good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new to everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I'll have to. Don't worry, Ichigo. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's sort of a barrier, and we'll have to learn to get past it soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand, my, I hand Monica my poem. Hmm, I like this one. It makes me think of something Sayori would like. Said so. <laughs> you and Sayori are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you had those sort of things in common. We may be good friends, but Sayori and I are actually really different. Hmm. Well, that may be the case, but maybe there are some similarities that you wouldn't expect the way she talks about you. It sounds like the two of you are really care about each other and well-being. Even if you show, even if you show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you think. So I think that's the kind of vibe I get from reading your poem. Hmm. Are you sure you're not reading it too much? Haha, <laughs> I could be. Why do they laugh every single time? Ten word poems. GG. Easy girls hearts. Yes. Oh gosh, I sound like Yuri. But in any case, Sayori's writing has <clears throat> kind of a gentle feel to it. I can tell that she likes exploring with emotions like happiness and sadness. Who knew that someone so happy would enjoy sad things too? Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Well, to each their own. And, and you shouldn't be afraid of experimenting a little bit either. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a little while. Oh, <clears throat> a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the new kind of style that fits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased towards their own kind of styles, but I'll, I'm always happy to help you find what suits you most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Ha ha ha. Dude, everyone has their own type of laugh too, it's funny. <clears throat> anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Yes. Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well. That's because I have a, I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? Let's see. Ah. Well, let's read it then. Oh god, I have to actually read it. Hole in wall. You ready for Monica's poem? It couldn't have been me. See the direction the spackle protrudes. A noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend, I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel blind like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late, my retinas. <laughs> Already scorched with a permanent coffee of meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole in infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he on the other side was looking in. Neighbor and angry boyfriend. Am I supposed to find like meaning in this? So, what do you think? Hmm, it's very free form, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to talk about. As for feedback, ah, uh, it's okay. Yeah, that's kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That's it, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be very powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Ah, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany. Oh, I don't know what It's been influencing my poems a lot. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of, it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone's better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try it's very so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Dude, 
What is this game? Dude? Just force yourself to get something down on paper and tie it up later. Another way to think about this is if you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand around and go with the flow. So that's my advice for the day. Thanks for listening. <laughs> um, <clears throat> stay away. Oh my goodness, this is so good, Ichigo. I love it. I have no idea why you get such a good writer. Sayori, you must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. Ha ha ha, jeez. I'm sure Yuri's opinions have been a little more constructive than this. <laughs> maybe even if not too key. Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? Eh? Well, I'm not sure that's part of it. I think it's, I understood, or I understand you better than a lot of other people, you know? So, when I read your poem, it's not like just a poem. It's Ichigo's poem. <laughs> and that makes me feel like she's special. Like I can feel your feelings in it. Sayori hugs me, hugs the sheet against her chest. You're so weird, Sayori. I'm really happy just that you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Well, of course. I'm not really into it, into it yet, but it doesn't mean I'll break my promise, see? It's like I said before, Ichigo, deep down, you're not a selfish at all, you know? You're trying new things like this for other people, that's something that you really good, ugh, that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. And again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason that I joined, knowing how much this means for her and all. Yep. And I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? This will be my way of thanking you. All right, I'm going to hold that, hold it to you to that then. Yay, now you're, you're oh God, you're reading my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. Hee <laughs> hee, you'll see about that. Dear sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes, or you're asking me to come out and play, or you trusting me to wish away a rainy day. I look above, the sky is blue, it's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. <laughs> no way to end it. Sayori, this is just a guess, but did you wait until this morning to write this? No. <laughs> just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit. <laughs> yes or no question. Why am I enjoying this? I forgot to do it last night. Oh my god. Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Oh yeah. I didn't mean to say this was a bad poem. It came out nice. Or should I or should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. I'm here to write poems and eat cupcakes. And I'm all out of cupcakes. And write some poems. <laughs> Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. Even though you were late to school. What is this game? <laughs> what is this game? That's what I'm saying, dude. <clears throat> it's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing anyway. Thanks for showing me. This was so much fun. Monica's the best. <laughs> the next time I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I'll look forward to it. Am I gonna have to write more poems? Sup, Dark Azen? You wrote a poem? Yeah, I had to write a poem for this. Well, not a real one. I just picked a bunch of words. I'm talking about Natsuki now. Well, it's... About what I expected from someone like you. That's a little blood. Well, excuse me. It's not like I said I was. It was bad. <laughs> it just didn't evoke any emotion. So basically, it's not cute enough for your taste. Do you want to get smacked? I'll pass. Sigh. Well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Dude, she's sassy. Not that you'll like it. Oh, no. It's so short. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try. But that's about it. <laughs> what? I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that oh, they are in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But it isn't the point of the poems for people to express themselves. Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening, so I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice things about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling the last time. So you did. 
I guess more went into the, into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect it from the younger from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her and with the last confident I don't really care about or how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Oh my god, one more poem. One more poem to read. <sighs> Yuri. Yuri stares at the poem, and then it passes more, and then enough time for her to finish reading. Sorry, I forgot to start speaking. <laughs> it's fine, don't force yourself, I'm not. I just need to put my own thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? <laughs> Why did you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it. Wow. So it's that bad? No. Did I just raise my voice? I'm so sorry. Oh, well, she's so shy. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. It might be take might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine, I really didn't notice. What are you saying? Right, um, it's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical to new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick on, pick up on them. I still need not to this poem for Dr. Places. I think, <coughs> I think the most notable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. Not, wait, Natsuki's the one that had the really short one, right? I think so, okay. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result of both style and expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if, uh, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like, oh, I didn't know what to say. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing every single simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it comes with practice. Why am I learning how to write a poem? I'm learning by example and trying new things. I, always, I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you a valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little butt biased though. Biased? Well, yeah, she was a bitch. Never mind. I shouldn't be talking to people about people like that. <clears throat> it was a gossiping. They're spreading bad words about each other, dude. They're going after each other. I'm not sure if Yuri's apologizing for herself to me or not, Tuki. Do you mind if I read the poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamingly as if there's rare opportunities for it, which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Oh, God. Oh, I can't even read this. Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing. It must be this one, the last remaining street light to have with, withstood the test of time, the last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, claim, or calm rather, breathing air. The, pre the present, but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. Ooh, ooh, I like it. I'm getting way too into this. I'm sorry, I was just terrible handwriting. What? Yeah? Yeah, you do. I wasn't thinking that at all, but it took you a long time to read. <laughs> yeah. Well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh? That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. I even thought it was short. It was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. You, I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it, I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you the ghost, Yuri? Uh-huh. Actually, the story, isn't, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Ichigo. <laughs> really? I must have totally missed the point. <laughs> well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all, but remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. <laughs> Pink or tough case. They usually do... Okay. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is... I know, I want a cupcake now. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, and able to let go of her past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that... Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Dude, I'm getting way too into this. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. 
that was a little more stressful than I anticipated <laughs> in terms of everyone is judging me for the mediocre writing abilities. Even if it's just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is this is a literature club after all, I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily... Uh, words. Uh, my eyes on Yuri land on Yuri and Natsuki. Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each other as expression exchange. Expression exchange. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles. <laughs> What's with this language? Eh? Did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissed. Dude, she's a bitch. Returns the poem to the desk with one hand. Dude, she is mean. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. You're so cute. Cute? Oh, yours is so cute. <clears throat> Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. Oh my gosh. This dude is a... Girl's a biatch. I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Hmm. <coughs> well, I do have a couple suggestions. <laughs> If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone I actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it. And Ichigo did too. Oh god. So based on that, I'd gladly give you some suggestions on my own. First of all, excuse me? I'd appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. Don't expect it to change anytime soon. Unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. And Ichigo liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he's impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands <laughs> Dude, it's cute. The drama's starting, dude. Oh, I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Dude, the music changed, finally. That's not what, uh, you, you're just, Yuri stands up as well. Dude, they're gonna fight. Maybe you're just jealous that Ichigo appreciates my advice more than he appreciates yours. <gasps> dude, they're fighting! <laughs> and how did you know he didn't appreciate my advice here? Or advice more. Are you that full of yourselves? If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. <laughs> Dude, Kevin, this is so funny. I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew size bigger as soon as Ichigo started showing up. <laughs> oh my god, this is hilarious. It doesn't involve you. <laughs> I don't like fighting, guys. Suddenly, both girls turn towards me as if she noticed something. I was standing there. Ichigo. She's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate the simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point in making your poems all convoluted for no reason? That's meaning you should jump out as a reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, Ichigo. There's a reason we have so many deep, expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting for yourself, it's only a waste of time. You understand that, right, Ichigo? Don't bring me into this. How did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing. But whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. Oh, God. Oh, I gotta pick someone? Dude, I actually didn't make decisions. Oh yeah, and I'm picking Yuri. Doesn't it end up being like, you can only pick the other one? I don't know, dude. See? Wait, that's not an excuse for you to be so mean. You shouldn't have picked a fight. Oh my god. <laughs> because someone's opinion is different. That's not what happened at all. Yuri wouldn't even take my poem seriously. Hmm, I understand, Yuri. Yeah. You're a seriously talented writer. It's no secret that I was impressed. Well, that's... She goes upon authority on quality of poems. I am. I I mean, I know poems and I read one. But here's the thing. Jesus, no matter how simple or refined someone's writing style is, they're still putting feelings into it and it becomes something really personal. That's why Natsuki felt threatened when you said her poem was cute. I see. I didn't notice that. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> but Natsuki, you took it way too far. Yuri means well, and if you just told her how you felt, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. Are you kidding? That's exactly what I did. It was her that. I think that's enough. There you go, Monica. Both said some things that you didn't mean. Yuri apologized. Don't you think you should, too? Mm. 
Uh, Suki clenches her fists. In the end, nobody has taken her side. She trapped at the point being defiant only because she can, can't handle the pressure. I end up even feeling bad for her. Um, sometimes when I'm hurt, it helps to take a walk and clear my head. Sayori, she doesn't need to. You know what? I'm gonna do that. I'll spare me from having to look at your faces right now. Dude, she's gonna like walk into traffic from it. Without warning, Natsuki snatches her own poem from the desk and storms out. On her way out, she crumples up the, oh, the poem in her hands and throws it in the trash. Mm, that's so sad. <laughs> she really didn't need to do that. I look across the room. Yuri has her chin buried in her hands while she stares down at her desk. Everything's alright? I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I acted like that. You probably hate me now. No, Yuri. How could anyone ha not have gotten frustrated or frustrated after being treated like that? You handled it so well as anyone could. I don't think any less of you. Well, all right, I believe you. Thanks, thanks, Ichigo. You You're too kind. I'm thankful to have a part in this club now. <laughs> ah, one more thing. That one thing that Natsuki said about you. You know, I would never do anything so shameful. So, eh? I think did Natsuki say? Well, never mind that. I'm gonna go make some tea. Oh, good idea. Jesus. Make enough for me for more than one person, okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you feel about sharing poems? Oh, <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was all right, but well, mostly. Ichigo, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do some same thing tomorrow. Maybe you learned something from your friends too, so your poems will turn out even better. Did learn a little more about kind of poems. I'm learning about poems. Why am I learning about poems? With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job of impressing those I want to impress. I nod in myself with newfound determination. Ichigo, ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. <laughs> Sayori beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Sayori. <laughs> Hold on, I got it. 